What's up everybody? How's everyone doing out there today? Welcome back to Wildcat MTG. MTG. Uh, today we have ourselves friends of Ixalan Collector Booster Box Battle. Uh, this is a set I actually really, really enjoy opening and I'm looking forward to doing another box today. Uh, so for how this thing is going to work, we're going to open this thing up. Everyone's going to get three packs. We're going to open those three packs. We're going to add up all the mana values for the rares and the mythics. Uh, at the end of this thing, the person with the highest total mana value amongst rares and mythics and the person with the lowest total mana value amongst rares and mythics are each going to get one additional collector pack from Lost Caverns of Ixalan. I'm going to throw these off to the side here and uh, let me start opening this up and distributing some packs here. Um, in the event of a tie, we will take the highest mana value Mythic as the first tiebreaker and the highest mana value Rare as the second tiebreaker. Uh, Box Stopper is going to do also go to the high. Um, I've been doing that in the past, so I'm going to keep with that theme. Uh, highest total mana value Mythic as the first tiebreaker, Rare as the second tiebreaker. In the event of a third tiebreaker, uh, we will have some sort of pie eating contest or something along those lines. It's a joke. I don't have any pies. If I did, I'd keep them for myself, depending on what type. And if you're wondering what that is, I like fruit pies. I, I like fruit pies. Blueberry, cherry, apple, lemon meringue. Sign me up. Here for all of it. Okay, let's distribute some packs. I will stop my yammering. Three packs for Unholy Ram. Three packs for Helium. Three packs for Gremlin. And three packs for Typhoon. Uh... Above and beyond everything else, let's have some fun, huh? Hopefully pull some fun stuff. Here we go. Good luck, everybody. <laughs> I have had some pretty good luck with this set so far. I also think it's just a pretty well-balanced set, like in terms of like how the packs are laid out. All right. Kutzel, Malamit Exemplar, Bitter Triumph. Okay, so we're going to have a uh, borderless uh, or, or showcase uncommon. So we start off with another Kutzel. Neat. Good. Solid uncommon. First rare is going to be Echoing Deeps. That is a zero for mana value. Quality card, though. Good, solid pack foil rare. Oh, gl Growing Relics of uh, Itlam Itlamok. That is a three. Also a good card. Does flip into the Cradle of the Sun, which is like a Gaius Cradle. Curious Althusor as the uh, commander card after that. That is a four. Love me some dinos. Have a Mythic. It is a Resplendent Angel in the Borderless. That is a beautiful card. Very much a fan of that. Remember when these things were like 30 plus dollars? Holy moly. All right, that is a three into our Jurassic Park card, which this time is a land that can be a real, real uh, wild card for these uh, for these battles is the Jurassic Park slot. We conclude with a <laughs> foil Borderless Growing Rights of Itlamok. Uh, these things are like $5 right now. I have a feeling that... Um, that eventually will start making their way back up. Prior to the reprint, they were like $25. Um, I'll sleep up most of this. Uh, I'll sleep up all the mythics and, and stuff now, but I'll sleep up most of this after the video is over. So throw the JP land on top here. All right, Ram, you started off with a three, four, five, six. That's a 10, 13, and still a 13. A six, 10, 13. Yep, 13. Let me write that down. 13. Solid start, though, from a pull standpoint. All right, Helam, you are up next. Yeah, between the commander slot, between uh, the Jurassic Park slot, uh, the special guest, which is an average of one per box, although I did have a box that didn't have any special guest cards in it, um, and the fact that uh, the set itself is actually just pretty good. Really, really like this set and the way they did it. Okay. Let's get past our uncommons and commons. Nothing really worth stopping on there. I think Spelunking is probably like the most valuable uncommon it's still like a dollar two all right sunborn as the uncommon get into our rares here rares and mythic we start off with a restless vents which is a zero pack foil restless vents dire flail which is a also uh, what's well, a not also it's a one it does flip over into the dire blunderbuss which is kind of cool commander card is francisco the foul marauder which is a two so heal him you're on the low path right now staying on the low path with the restless reef into our Jurassic Park card, which is going to be a command tower. Still a zero. Uh-huh. Oh, but what do we got going on back here? Oh, nice. It is O'Hare Axanel, the deepest might, which is a really, really, A, love the art, and B, actually picking up steam as a playable card. Uh, when it dies, if it dies, it dies, and it also flips into a Templar of Power. Temple of Power. Let's leave that up right away. That's a pretty quality mythic. All right, so four, still four, still four, six, seven. That is a really low pack. 
Seven. Ah, 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 ah. All right, Helen. Nice pull on the uh, on the gob, though. All right, Gremlin, you are up next. Ever so slightly. Here we go. Okay. Uncommon is going to be a the seeding tower. <clears throat> First rare or mythic is a molten collapse. Pretty good. Pack foil molten collapse. It is a two. Squirming emergence, which is a three. Mythic is a oh, it's a commander mythic. It is the eye of O'Hair Talk. It is a three. What does this do? Have I seen this card before? A little print dot on the end there. Craft with two. Oh, okay. Uh, flips into Observatory. I don't know what that card is. Now I really want to know, though. I'll read it later. Wrestles Prairie is a borderless. Dino DNA. I've pulled a bunch of these, and it's a really good card. So, not bad. Also, a one. That is a rare from the Jurassic Park slot. We conclude with a Sanguine Evangelist, which is also a decent card in its own right. What do we got going on here? We have a three. We have a four. Still a four. Five, six, seven. I'm going to sleep the Mythic here. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh, let me double check here. That's uh, 4, still 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Yeah. Okay. And I will sleeve. It is a Mythic. I know it's Commander Mythic, but Mythic nonetheless. I'm going to leave the Dino DNA on top, though, because I like that card a lot. If you haven't read that card, it's a house. All right. Typhoon. Come on, find the scene. There we go. All right. First, oh, hey, nice. It's it's Quint, firstborn of Gishath. That is the uh, borderless uncommon. Pretty neat. Kite sail larcenist. That is a three. Intrepid paleontologist. A two. Commander card is oh, nice. Pants lasers. <laughs> the sun favorite, <laughs> Pantslaza. Uh, that is actually a pretty good uh, commander, pretty popular as well. And that is a five. That is a mythic from the commander slot. Breaches, eager pillager. Dino land is for the Jurassic Park slot, and we conclude with an unstable glyph bridge as the extended art foil rare. So what do we got going on here? I will sleeve the mythic, the commander mythic. This might be the highest pack so far, right? So we got a 5, 10, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. 18, yep. All right, after the first round here, we have Unholy Rem with a 13, Helam in the low with a 7, Gremlin right behind with a 12, and Typhoon in the high with an 18. Into round two we go. All right, Ram, what do you got going on here with your Resplendent Angel? All right, Island. Scythe Claw Raptor, love the borderless uncommons there. Get Lost, pretty good rare. That is a pack foil Get Lost, it's a two. Deep Root Pillage, uh, excuse me, Deep Root Pilgrimage, that is a, also a two. Commander card is a Promise of Aklazots, which is a two also, keeping it low. Pugnacious Hammer Skull, which is a three. It is a foil Jurassic Park card, but it is a Plains, a Jurassic Park land. And a Deep Fathom Echo to end with an extended art foil Deep Fathom Echo. All right, so what do we have in total here? We have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. Giving you a twenty-six. Four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yep. All right. A tamer pack than the first pack for Ram. All right, Helam. Currently low with a 7. Because you pulled a lot of lands. A little dino token in the back there. That's neat. Okay. Uncommon. Zoyawa Lava Tongue. Packfoil is Kutzel's Flanker. That is a three for a Packfoil Rare. 
Fabrication Foundry, which is a two. Commander card is a Stinger, excuse me, Singer of Swift Rivers. That is a three. Restless Vents, which is a zero, is a borderless manland. Oh, nice. Cresting Mosasaurus. That is an eight. That is going to change things considerably. I'm not sure you actually wanted to see the eight there, considering your, your path at the time. Concluding with a Cosmium Confluence Extended Art Foil, which is also a five. All right, well, what we got going here? We have five. That changed real quick, didn't it? Five plus eight, that's 13. Still 13. Uh, 16. 17, 18. And a 21? Did that really just happen? Eight, five, 13, 16, 18. Yeah, it sure did. Okay. Giving you a 28 and all of a sudden vaulting you into the high. Well, things change quickly, don't they? Life comes, life comes at you fast. All right, Gremlin. These more mythics, huh? Box has been kind of quiet on the base level mythics, the base set mythics. I think we have a couple so far. Get Saul Splunking uncommon. Neat. All right, Island, Captain Storm. Pack foil rare or mythic is a, the Myco Tyrant. So it is another mythic. It is another set mythic. It is uh, the Myco Tyrant. It is a three. Feels like this card would be kind of a cool build around for Commander. Terror Tide as a four. Another mythic is Hackball of the Surging Soul. Uh, that is a Commander Mythic. That is also a four. Good looking card there. Another Mythic. This is our third Mythic of the pack. What do we have here? Quintorius Con. The Borderless Quintorius Con. This is the disco version where it looks like he, he's doing a disco dance. At least it does to me. That is a five. Jurassic Park Land. Uh-huh. Conclude with an Abuelo Ancestral Echo. Man, a lot of Mythics in that pack. A lot of Mythics. Here we go. Let me sleeve real quick. And then we'll do some adding. Okay. So we have a 4. That's 9, 12, 16, and 19, right? 4, 9, 12, 16, 19. Yep. Gremlin. All of a sudden, you find yourself with a 31. We'll throw the uh, throw the Contorious Con on top, I think. I don't know, question mark. Okay, interesting stuff. Well, this is going to be really close. Typhoon, you were at a high previously of an 18. Been a weird round. Let's see where you end up here. Here we go. All right, little Swamp, Bartolome del Presidio as the foil uncommon. We have a pack foil rare. It is a the ever-flowing uh, well. It's a three. Sanguine Evangelist as a, an extender. That is a three also. Into our commander card, which is a bronze beak foragers. That's a four. Throne of the Grim Captain, which is a two. Kind of love this card. Uh, and Jurassic Park land. We've been shy on the actual Jurassic Park hits. We've been short on, well, not short, but seems seem more scarce. All right, we conclude. Ooh, what do we got back here? Oh, borderless foil bone hard, dr bone hoard Dracosaur. That is a solid, solid hit. A really, really nice borderless, uh, borderless mythic. Okay. So we have a five, six, seven, uh, 11, 14, and 17? Giving you a, is that right, a 35? Yeah, it sure is, man. Five, six, seven, 11. 11 plus six, 17, yeah, all right. Dragosaur definitely going on top here. So after two rounds, Ram all of a sudden in the low of the 26, right behind Helium of the 28. We're just going to go in ascending order here. Gremlin with a 31 and Typhoon in the high with a 35. Last pack. Good luck, everybody. Okay. Start on with our foil mountain into an Earth Shaker Dreadmaw on the borderless foil. Beautiful. Mythic is an Enigma Jewel. That is a blue Mythic. That is a one. 
One for mana value. So there's a pack foil mythic, the Enigma Jewel. Souls of the Lost, which is a two. Wow, Master of the Dark Rites. Well, that's a one. All right, Ram. You're still keeping it low. Into a Polani's Hatcher. That's less low. That is a five. Now our Jurassic Park card. It is a Command Tower. Second Command Tower. That is a zero. Yeah. And concluding with an, oh, beautiful Foil Special Guest Underworld Breach. That is not bad at all. That's actually a really, really solid hit. As far as the Special Guest cards are concerned, that's definitely going to be up there. All right. Hey, there we go. Special Guest making an appearance. I was going to just get ready to say something. That's really nice. So that's a two. Still a two. Uh, so that's a seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I forgot about the, the Enigma Jewel. The Jewel of Enigmas. And I'll do my adding one more time. I'm going to throw the command tower. Sure. 2, 3, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay. All right. Sorry. A lot of thoughts racing through. Inability to do math. It's great. Okay. And nice hit on the breach, though. That's great. All right. Helium up next. Good special guest hit. All right. Okay. Swamp. Belligerent yearling as the borderless foil uncommon. Pack foil. Ooh. Threefold thunder. Thunder Hulk. Thunder buddy. Uh, that is a seven. That is a massive mana value. Preacher of the schism. That is a three. Into our commander card, which, ooh, Broadside Bombardiers. That is actually a bona fide hit now. That's nice. That is also a three. Amalia Benavides Aguirre. And, whoa, hey, nice. We have a foil Jurassic Park card. Owen Grady, Raptor Trainer. That is a three. That's actually a decent hit. I mean, foils in that slot are pretty good. Concluding with a Restless Prairie back there. All right, so uh, let me sleeve... Owen real quick, just because those JP cards are pretty nice. All right, let's add this up here. So, Helam, you have a 3, 4, 5. Uh, that's a 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 plus 7 is 18. Still an 18. Does give you the high right now with 46 total. With a total of finished total of 46. All right, Gremlin. Okay. Uchbinbach. Preacher of the Schism as a pack foil rare. Braided Net as a three. This is a two for the Braided Net. The Indomitable as a commander card, which is a four. <laughs> you know what? Double up. Oh, uh, it was Helam had the other one. But we have doubled up on the Axonil Deepest Might, which is, again, a quality mythic. Jurassic Park card is a foil commander. This is our third command tower of the box. This is the foil one, at least. And concluding with a Restless Anchorage. Another man land in the back. Beautiful looking card, but not helping for mana value and not like a super valuable card either. All right. Let me sleeve up the god. So what do we got going on here? We have ourselves a four, still a four, still a four. Eight, nine, 10, 11, a 14. Gremlin, that gives you a 45, not enough to take the high and above the low. So you will find yourself in no man's land this time around. Typhoon, out of 35. Currently, Ram is in the low with a 37, so it seems unlikely. Yeah, and the high is Helam with a 46, so you need an 11, at least an 11 to overtake. And I have no idea what the mythics or rares look like as far as tiebreakers. So 12 gets it done. 11 forces a tie break. Here we go. A mountain. A rampaging Ceratops. Treasure map. You love this card. Not a valuable card, but I still kind of love it. That's a two. 
hit the mother load. You certainly did with that mana value. That is a seven. Holy moly. Okay. And a Sun Frill uh, Imitator. That is a three. I think that gets you there. Roaming Throne. Well, that'll help. And that is a really nice hit as well. Borderless Roaming Throne. That's a four. And new blue. Loyal Raptor. So we got an Owen Grady and a blue. You're my boy, blue. And we conclude with a Subterranean Schooner as a two in the extended art. I do believe that'll get it done. So let's check this out here just to be official-like. Uh, so we've got a two, six, ten, thirteen, uh, twenty, and twenty-two. Yeah, that's going to get it done. Giving you a 57 for the finished high. Um, I'm going to sleeve Throne real quick. I don't think there was any other Mythics in here. I'll sleeve the rest afterwards. Dracosaur up top. Okay, so Typhoon, that does give you the high with a 57. Uh, Gremlin, you were at a 45. Helam at a 46. And Unholy Ram in the low with a 37. Got a couple bonus packs here. Let's see what we do in our prize packs. All right, Ram. Ye of the special guest, Underworld Breach. I do believe that is actually a pretty valuable hit as well. Okay. A little forest action. Another Uchbinbach. Polani's Hatcher as the pack foil rare. Okay, another hit the mother load. Sure, this time in the extended art. Uh huh. Hey, Elystra's uh, Wanderglyph. Neat. This is uh, the like the tender shoot dryad of Commander. That's cool. Nice card there. Into a Kellen, a borderless Kellen, daring traveler. Kellen's all over the place. And a Jurassic Park land. It is a mountain. Concluding with a Brass Tunneler's Grinder. Not the spiciest prize pack, right? Not the spiciest prize pack. Let's do the uh. These things hate me. Let's do the, uh, we'll do the topper first. The topper, you want to watch a man struggle to open up a single card. Oh, oh, I speak too soon. I mean, I'm still kind of struggling, right? <laughs> I just don't want to bend the card. Give me the card, please. All right, here we go. It is a expedition map. Hey, that's not bad. Nice, nice little bonus, little topper action there with the expedition map. Pretty sweet. Now let's check out your Lost Caverns pack. Okay, a little planes action. Mhm. Mm pack full of rares, a Malcolm, a luring scoundrel. Kind of like this card. Deep root pilgrimage. Hey, Charismatic Conqueror. That's actually a really good hit from the commander side. I think it's my one of the better hits that you can have. Maybe even the best hit you can have. Last time I checked, this was still double digits. Very nice. Good pull. Into a Restless Ridgeline. Another Command Tower, because we're just doling these out like candy. And we conclude with a Squirming Emergence. All right. Conqueror was definitely the best hit of that. But that does a, that is a nice little bonus there. All right, well, that is going to do it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, do me a favor. If you're not subscribed already, hit the subscribe button for me. Hit the like button for me. And by all means, drop me some comments. Appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much, everybody. And thank you so much to the patrons. Be well.